Hey, this is Norbert with GQ Audio. Just uh, kind of picking up where we left off with the last tutorial. We've got this rollerball game. It comes from one of the Unity tutorials. And we added these sound effects to it in FMOD, but as you can hear, it's the same sound every single time. And, you know, while that works, just doesn't create the greatest amount of interest. And I think players probably be a little bit bored and just feel that the audience is kind of tedious if they're hearing the same sound effect every single time. Well, FMOD has a number of different ways to deal with that, and that's what we're going to look at today. If we uh, open up our FMOD project, the first behavior is pickup-ran. Now, if you download one of the files that's listed in the description section of this video, you'll probably see that this sound event is completely flushed out and finished. Um, I thought it'd be easier to quickly recreate it in this tutorial just because it's a little bit easier to explain what's going on and it, it doesn't take that much time to actually make this kind of event. Um, just to reiterate some of the things from the previous tutorials, um, pick up ran is a new event. Right click, choose new event. You can create that. Pick up ran is the name that I chose. Uh, any name could work. We've assigned it to the master bank. And as always, master fader, no 3D panner. So we won't take advantage of positional audio, but that's fine because we don't really need it for this particular project. What we do need to do, however, is right click on the first audio track and choose add multi-sound. Multi-sound is really just a container that and you can see a little message here that says drop sounds here. It allows you to load a series of sounds and then give them a different set of behaviors. The sounds that we want to load we've already imported into this project. We do uh, command or control 3 to open up the library and I have five different sounds, PU-012345. It's five different pickup sounds. And I can just drop those right there in the multi-sound in the multi-sound object box. Um, something that's worth noting with this sort of uh, with this multi-sound behavior, by default, this little dice icon is checked it's yellow. If I deselect it, it's gray. Uh, when the dice icon is gray like this, these sound effects will play back sequentially. So we hear one, two, three, four, and that's five. If we check the dice and its icon is yellow, then these are going to play back randomly. Uh, there's ways to wait and control some of the details of a randomized playback here in FMOD and you can see the FMOD documentation for those details. But for now, this is a complete random playback. This is going to work really well. I've tested this in the game and it, it stands up well to the gameplay of Rollerball. So we've got five sounds. They're set to be randomized. They're in this multi-sound event. Make sure that I save my project and then the obligatory steps before you can bring anything into, into Unity from FMOD is to choose File Build, quickly builds the project, and then File Export GUIDs. It exports everything, bundles it, or packages it, and gets it ready for uh, further life in a Unity game. So come back to Unity, and because we made some changes, I'll go ahead and uh, refresh everything in the FMOD men F menu, I choose Import Banks, choose the Build Bank. It gives me some details, it lets me know that some things were modified. Click on Continue and it updates things accordingly. Um, and again, if you're watching this tutorial and you haven't seen others in the series, uh, know that this FMOD menu is something that only shows up after you've imported the FMOD Unity integration package and if you have Unity Pro installed. And you can look at the first tutorial of this series to read more about that. Well, the first and second will give you more details about those things. 
Now, to put the sound effect in our game and to initiate random playback, we um, just have a couple really easy steps. Our player controller script is what we're using to cue FMOD sounds. And in the tutorial that I did last time, this line referenced the pickup dash single event. And that was the FMOD event that I created where there was just one pickup sound and we heard the same one every time. That's what you heard when I started this lesson today. In order to get the randomized playback that we've been talking about, I need to cue pickup ran, this event that I just created in FMOD a few minutes ago. Well, it's easy to do this. Um, but let me walk you through some of the other steps just to make this all more transparent. Um, here in Unity, in the project hierarchy, in the FMOD assets folder, there's all the assets and all the events that we created in FMOD. If I choose pick up ran, we can see that that's there. It's important to note up here in the inspector, there's some, there's some useful information. Um, path, which is event colon slash pickup dash ran. That is exactly the text that you have to enter into your code in mono develop. You can see there event colon slash pickup single in unity choose the asset event colon slash pickup single. Uh, you can also see that the GUID is there. There may be a situation where you actually need to reference that long alphanumeric code but for most of what we're doing in this lesson, we don't need to touch that at all. The reason I'm pointing this out is that if you're working on these projects on your own, you'll need to know where to, to retrieve the right event name. And now you can see the inspector for each FMOD asset will give you those details. Well, the event that we're concerned about right now is pickup-ran. And I can see that its name is listed right there. Event colon slash pickup-ran. So I will come back to MonoDevelop, and rather than rewrite this whole entire line, I just need to update that last little bit. Pickup-single becomes pickup-ran. Save that in MonoDevelop. Move back to Unity. Um, give Unity a second to churn on it. I don't see any errors listed down here. So everything should be OK going to go ahead and save this project and then let's test the scene. So there is our first pickup sound. Now I'll go around and collect some other cubes and we should hear a different sound. Yeah. Every time we grab a new cube, we get a different sound. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So that gives you a way to add some randomization and create a little bit more interest with the sound design for this game. In the next lesson, we'll work with multiple sounds again, but in that case, uh, those multiple sounds will actually be tied to game parameters. So we'll be able to look at different factors that are present in the game at the moment a sound event needs to happen and those values will determine which sound in a group will be played. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.